Greetings everyone, I am finally back, the hand is better, and we're gonna go camping. So to show us what we got, we've obviously got our KTM over there still, and we've got our new pannier bags, which were the most sold on Amazon, so do a bit of review those later. We're gonna try them first. Towel, sleeping bag, adventure riding, camping chair, that's actually really good as well. Tent, pots, little gas canister which should be fun riding with when it's 35 degrees celsius outside a little 12 volt air compressor and then we also have a little blow up mattress over there so we're not actually going to be camping but we're going to be strapping these bad boys to that getting all of that in there and just doing a test run first for the site because there are a lot of people that are going to be going and then secondly, we're going to be testing just how the bags work and how the racks work. And um, the bags are great, but they don't have straps on them. So we're going to be trying these out. I thought I had more, but I don't. So yeah, give you guys a little time lapse of me putting this together. And I'll show you what we get once we're done. So a bit of a quick time lapse, but she's pretty much packed everything's on there i actually have a lot more space than i thought so i could put a bit more clothing in there the sleeping bag would go somewhere else and i don't think i'm going to put the carry-on case on top so just to check what we were doing here so far we've got sleeping bag on top of that over there we've got one tie tie running around the bottom I had to cable tie these to the top the handles on the back of the 390 are a bit terrible they sit here quite comfortably but I'm not trusting this not to come off. We've got another strap running around the front. Lots of extra room over here. At the back, there's only one strap on each side to actually keep this thing on. So we're just gonna have to see tomorrow what the outcome is and whether it stays on. I wanna see if I can find the other blue ones and then we will be off. We are back up again and another bright, shiny morning. So we are all packed up, ready to go. Tank bag's ready, that's ready. So we're just going to be grabbing some breakfast on our way. And we should be there. Maybe some dirt roads, we're not sure. Okay, so first ride with the new bags. They're working really, really well. Straps working well, everything's good. We got the rest of the folks with us. That's a group shot. So first we got Ed, Michelle, Sean, Corey, and Ducati there. Nice there, there. And a bit of brief, so let's get on the road. Just get, we'll see how many litres he fills up, yeah. and uh, that's roughly 50 Just doing some KTM things. <laughs> Wait a second, I've got an idea. <sighs> Just wait a second, do you not have a, re a reserve tank on this thing? It does. Where is it? Over here. In the switch. Okay. Do you know how big the reserve is? It started spluttering at me when I used about 6 litres last time. Okay, so you got 2 litres spare. Yeah. How much you put in now? 1.6? 2.6. 2.6 litres, so 2.6... should 6... get about 150 k. Alright, and you're sure, you're sure the reserve is off? Yep. Okay, cool. So that means when it starts to splutter, you can turn it and we got 50 k's. Because yeah. that's what I used to do when I didn't have a fuel tank, when I didn't have a fuel <laughs> gauge. Just wait for it to get the, the, the fuck. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon as it does that, then shout and then uh, we can go. Okay, cool. Easy.
Cool. Welcome to Dwelling Up. Everything is still intact. Everybody still survived. Except that little KTM over there is really struggling with fuel, which should be quite interesting. What are we waiting for? Uh, we're just gonna. It sounds like it's closed. That's not good. To... We don't know which way to go now because they put that sign up there, so we're gonna hey. check it all out. Easy. safe and sound. Bags have not budged. GoPro is working well. Everybody made it now to see if we will camp here. <gasps> oh no, this is worth it, eh? <laughs> worth this one. Out in the middle of nowhere. So carrying on walking. Got a... So that's where I was swimming over there. We've got a nice little waterfall running through here. Beautiful. Calm little pool down there. You could quite easily get your own little spots and just chill, make things set up there for the day. Keep it simple. I was going to say it looked a little bit flat earlier, but it didn't know if it was just a certain knobbly. So I what we got flat? Fine up until that last corner, I felt it just give a little. Um, mm, no, no, that's you can see there. It's almost coming off the rim. Are these tubeless? Uh, tube. Tube. Yeah. Okay. That means the tube. Huh? Means the tube's probably. <sighs> I've got a puncture kit. I've got a. I've got my tire thing as well. Um, okay, can we reverse back into this little thing here, then release off the road? Yeah. Success. So we got the little air compressor there, running straight into the 390, and we seem to be getting some air into it. I don't know that this is pumping, bud. It is. It's still yeah, slow, but it's still And it's not reading anything at all.
So did you get a punch or does it just go down on you? I think it's been going down the whole time. Cool, so my pump doesn't work. I've got a kit, but uh, I don't know that I've got right. a um. Wait a second. Ooh, fancy. It's a 3.3 three pound. So we're at a new stage. There is, it's leaking too quickly to, what's his name? So now we're trying to Magaga, the tube out, which is, uh, not going as planned, and then we're going to stick it together with well, get, the um, blow-up up mattress plugs. Cool, so a new plan, we're going to drive all the way up, to, uh, fetch uh, the ute, block. chuck that on the back and go. So we're going to try and shoot back quickly. But uh, yeah, it's not an adventure unless the bike breaks down. Let's have some fun. So we made it here, we went and we've got the ute. There we go, so there, this is plank. You're gonna get us there, and then that needs to go on the back. I wouldn't lift, no, I wouldn't lift the back, yes. Yeah. Right, they're, they're just lifting the whole bloody bike up. We need to go on an angle. <laughs> There's a toilet. I don't run in there, dude. Go check. That's going in the YouTube video. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. Now to see that it doesn't bounce off the back, but it does fit on old clank, which is really good. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you guys next year. Cool, so that's Corey's bike back. We're gonna go drop Michelle and just hopefully the adventure is done then, but yeah. So we made it back home, the adventure was good. It was supposed to be a video about the pannier bags and the pannier rack and all of that, but between breakdowns and all of that it was pretty good. But luckily we made it home safe and sound. It's also the last day of the year, so it's um New Year's Eve tonight, so you wouldn't want to be stuck out there. There's not really services to help you, but yep, luckily everything worked out. Um, old plank works well, the pannier bags work well. I think I'll just do a general review about those in the future. But yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and do all the things, folks. And remember, if you're stuck in a rut, try something new. If you're stuck in a rut, pick something new, do something old. I don't know, I'll remember. I need to remember how to say that. Cheers, bye.